I take it you found our gatekeeper. Then let me explain what's going on. When Hydra isn't preoccupied with world-ending scenarios, they spend a lot of their free time terrorizing the citizens of New York through various low-level operations. It's fairly routine stuff for heroes these days, and worst case, we'll still get some fresh intel in the process. Why don't you check the mirror table and see what we've got on our plate? I did the math. It would actually be faster for me to fly. So what is stopping me? Ah, that is not good. We're sending you straight to the coordinates Captain Marvel identified in New York. Dr. Banner has confirmed that the gamma signatures in the area match those of Faustus's weapon. We need to recover whatever intel we can if we're going to find out exactly what's going on down there. Like Captain Marvel was right on the... Ah, heroes. A single world-ending calamity is never enough to satiate your appetite for destruction. You insist on meddling further, forcing our hand yet again. Oh, that's just lovely. Faustus has a radio. I'm assuming whatever Hydra is attempting to flee with on that chopper is our target. I suggest we stop it and see for ourselves. You bring judgment upon yourself. Thank <laughs> you. 
They're repositioning! Where do you think you're going? For the mother! I've been waiting for this! Hardly a scratch. Uh. I have spotted enemy reinforcements. You're ready now. You don't even know what it is you're pursuing. The Gamma Disruptor you so narrowly escaped with in our last encounter was only the beginning. Show yourself to me, Faustus, and I will open more than your eyes. Such ferocious spirit. You truly are your mother's child, Hunter. Hell has chosen you. It was your time. is on our side. Just like old times. This Walk in the light. My strength grows. By her command. Engaging target. You will have to do better than that. They haven't had enough yet. The last thing we need is for that pompous buffoon to win today. Stop that chopper, please. With pleasure.
Enemy unit repositioning. about to take off, and with it any hope of understanding what this madman is actually ranting about. We will stop it. Our loyal soldiers aren't the simple punching bags you've come to expect, are they? Somehow these humans, these mere mortals, dare to stand against ye fearsome gods! All is possible with mother! Excellent. Now you'll need to clean up the rest of Hydra's forces. We're losing ground! No retreat! Is iconic. If you're a low rent mercenary, I mean. to the Hydra than you will ever comprehend, heroes. This is a minor setback at most. Well, at least we don't have to listen to you any longer today. 
I consider that alone a victory. Well done. If Hydra wasn't paying attention before, they are now. Stay sharp. Feeling a chill, Magic? You could say that. I've been staring at the night sky trying to figure it out. Figure what out? You're observant, Hunter. You tell me. You are trying to figure out how to bring Wanda back. Close, Hunter. But no. Something much more sinister has grabbed my attention. Sinister? When I was holding the trans-dimensional door for you back there, I sensed something was at the docks with you. Something dark and familiar. What did you see, Ileana? I did not see, I said. I sensed something there. But that's not the only thing I sensed today. Oh? Something has shifted in limbo. But I cannot quite put my finger on it. All I know is that whatever is happening is also strangely familiar to me. And when all you knew was darkness and despair growing up, that warm, fuzzy feeling of familiarity is not just a warning sign, but an alarm bell. We should inform the others of any potential danger. Warn them of what? One of Magic's airy-fairy gut feelings? The Avengers are already unsure of us. I do not need to add to that. Best not say anything until I am better able to articulate it. I'd like to be left to my thoughts now, Hunter. I still have a lot of thinking to do, while I try to make sense of what I felt at the docks and the energetic shifts that ripple through Limbo. I will let you know if I do. Hunter. I should be training. You need to go? No, I'm just not the kind of person who takes a lot of breaks. I used to relax by hunting bears. The only weapon I brought was myself. Right, you have to keep up or you fall behind. Because any day could be your last. Yeah, you can't control everything. Dangers crop up. Not every day, but yeah, most days. You let us be realistic. Every day is impossible.
Exactly. What next? Sleep one night a week? That's how you get hallucinations. You speak from experience? <laughs> Maybe. Come on, tell me. Northern Alaska has two straight months of darkness per year. Some idiot vampires think they'll find paradise. But no, all these fang tourists find is Northern Alaska in winter with no one to eat. So they take it out on the local wildlife. Hunter, the worst thing I've had to do is drive a stake through a blood-hungry caribou. They're so majestic, it just... it really gets to you. What does any of this have to do with hallucinating from lack of sleep? There were so many caribou, if you slept, you died. By the end, I could swear they were talking to me. What did they say? Nothing I care to repeat. I had a decent time. You're looking stronger than ever, kiddo. I'm glad to see you're getting comfortable with the words of power, Hunter. If you're going to continue our little investigation of the Abbey, they'll be vital to your success. Investigation? A side project, but a potentially transformative one. With my blessing, Wanda was working to uncover what may be the most powerful. Just what in the hell do you think you're doing in here? Standing in the library? I've given you free reign so you could get back on your feet. But I never thought you'd pull something like this. I... What is it you think I am doing, exactly? Don't be coy. It does not suit you. I told you how hard it's been since we lost Agatha. Instead of letting it rest, you decide to... Reopen the wound? Oh, Sarah. I would never... I never thought of this place like that. Of course you didn't. And now, it's done. Why should I ever stand in your way? <sighs> that anger wasn't meant for you, dear. You know that, right? Don't hold it against Sarah. She may try to mask her feelings, but you know she is struggling with what happened. Why are you hiding from her? For most people, the captivating relationships of their lives are formed over a matter of days and years. Sarah and I spent centuries together exploring this world, fighting the darkness, watching cities and even nations form and then crumble. And yet we persevered. Together. You still have not answered my question. It may be difficult to understand, but she needs this time. Sending Wanda away, sealing the library, that elaborate memorial she conjured up. She didn't waste any time trying to bury what happened. You are right. I do not understand. It isn't up to me to reveal myself. It's up to her to accept what happened and allow herself to grieve. When that happens, we'll see each other again, but not before. I trust you will do what is right for Sarah. So, what is it you are looking at here? Yes, we should get back to the real reason I asked you to meet me here. Wanda's journal. The Abbey Grounds have a great deal of history. Many of its secrets remain hidden, even after all this time. Even to you? Even to me. Wanda had taken to exploring the grounds in search of a strange energy we both sensed. Knowing that Zara had no intention of waking you to investigate, Wanda felt it was up to her to take your place. Of course, being the clever girl that she is, her notes are written in an ancient, transient cipher that I've only just begun to understand. Have a look at the first entry. Hunter, hello.
I'm sure it still seems a bit cryptic, but Wanda was definitely on to something. If you remember my altar, that's where she was conducting her experiments. An investigation that involves experiments? Why do I feel like you are going to get me into trouble? <laughs> Since when has that ever stopped you? Let's meet out at the altar. I'll try to do a better job of explaining from there. Charlie will show you the way if you've forgotten. <laughs> Noble Oshtur guides my hand. Like most things on the grounds here, there's more to this place than meets the eye. Do you remember the words I taught you as a child? Are you going to make me say it? Humor an old, dead woman. Oh. Hocus Pocus. Ah, oh, you haven't lost your touch, dear. The words may be simple, but these plinths won't appear for just anyone. Each represents one of the basic elements their power activated only by the elemental rods they would normally be holding. And where are the elemental rods now? Scattered to the wind, unfortunately. A side effect of Wanda's experiments here. Let me guess. 
That's right. I want you to find the missing rods and return them here. Hopefully, as I decipher Wanda's journal, her notes will aid in the search. But you have not actually told me what the greater purpose is here. What are we doing this for? All in good time, dear. After what happened with Wanda, I'd rather you take things slowly. In fact, I don't want you overthinking this little project. There's no rush and you don't have to help if you don't feel like it. But there is one more thing before I head back to the library. An arcane key. Just a little something. A token for your efforts so far. The key can be used to open that chest nearby. Like so many other oddities around here, those chests tend to appear before those who deserve them most. Make yourself that person. That seems intentionally vague. It's more fun that way, isn't it? I'll be in the library working on the translations if you need me, dear. Good luck.
cannot really be you. After all these years, it is good to see your face again. Wish I could say the same, Mother. Now enough with this deception and reveal your true form. But this is my true form. The way I was when you were just a sweet, helpless little baby. You don't remember that, do you? Well, I do. Bringing you into the world was the happiest time in my life. And taking you out of this world again will be mine. I had thought the words of power would open your eyes. But I should have known my sister and her pet witch would continue to withhold the truth from you. And what truth is that? The truth they are keeping from you. You need only. Wait! Mother! Where did you... Was that really her?